Again, tough luck today, but um, it's not often you score 400 in the ODI game and still end up on the losing side. Your thoughts on the events of the day today? Yeah, that's that's true. Um, yeah, I mean, the first half was, was uh, I thought, a, a great effort. Um, you know, a lot of really good partnerships. Guys understood that the surface uh, w was good, perhaps, perhaps better than it, it appeared, um, and were able to, to get a really competitive total. Well, so we thought... Um, and look, I mean, uh, the guys in the second half tried hard. You know, it was it was tough. The the weather perhaps didn't didn't help, but um, you know, we can't take anything away from you know the the task that Pakistan had to try and achieve, and and they came out and played beautifully well. And and obviously Zaman, when he's going, um, not many grounds are big enough, but certainly this one wasn't. And uh, he he just hit it to to all parts. So um, you know, credit to the way Pakistan came out and and achieved what what they did today um, and for us it's you know it's taking the the good bits and and the lessons as well and, and moving on to our next challenge one question on your partnership with Rachin there today it was quite evident that both of you were looking for the boundaries quite regularly was that because at the back of your mind you were thinking this on this wicket you need a score in excess of a certain amount um, <clears throat> yeah I mean uh, you got the feeling that it was a, a decent surface, um, obviously, and and so we were trying to basically grab some momentum and, and try and take it as far as we could. And then we got to a stage where it was really trying to up the ante um, with wickets in hand, which we which we had. Um, and I thought guys came out and played beautifully to to get us to that total. So um, yeah, a lot of positives there. Um, yeah, I mean it's been an incredible tournament. We've seen just. We've seen everything, really, uh, and you know, we saw something special today from Pakistan. Last one for me. Um, from being in a position where you had your own destiny in your own hands, you now are dependent on some of the other results that are going to happen as well. How do you look at that and what's going to be the approach in the next game for you? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I, I think the, the approach will be very similar. Um, you know, we, we can't rely on, on other teams, obviously, as you, you get down to um, some small small margins of whether it's run rate or, or your last match um you know anything can happen really but you know our focus is very much still on on the cricket that we want to keep playing and um and adjusting to what's in front of us and we've we've done that um in a in really positive ways uh, and also been challenged at certain times which you fully expect in, in these sorts of competitions so um, you know, we can't control what, what other people are doing, but we can really focus on, on our next game and preparing well for that. Hi, Ken. Uh, Fakhar has become, uh, New Zealand has become kind of Fakhar's favorite side to play against <laughs> in recent times. So, like, putting more uh, some more light on how he performed against you guys, like, what, what was so special about him that he was, you know, your plans probably didn't look like working against him today? Yeah, he, he swung seriously hard and he hit everything out of the middle of his bat and it went miles, basically. And um, he's a very aggressive, dynamic player. And you mentioned he's been very successful uh, against us um, on a number of occasions. And today was was probably one of his finest efforts. And we know how dangerous he is and we knew that that would be a, a big wicket um, because he certainly won't die wondering. And um, yeah, he played a, a special knock, but... Um, ultimately got them uh, across the line tonight. Kane, uh, how much did that knock take out of you, um, you know, in terms of your energy and the injuries that you've had to manage coming in and also during the tournament? So how much did that innings take out of you and how are you holding up body-wise, <laughs> looking ahead immediately to the next game in three, four days' time? Mm, yeah, well, I mean, it's just nice to, to be back out there, um, to be honest. Like, uh, obviously playing that, the previous match and, and getting through um, that uh, with the focus being on my knee a little bit and then to to just break your thumb which yeah bit of a bit of a bummer obviously but so just nice to be back out there with with the team and um, and playing and um, and yeah I mean to be honest not really focusing on on those things it's just more about where we need to be as a team and what we need to try and do and and the cricket that we need to play and <clears throat> a lot of good stuff. A lot of teams are playing really, really well. Um, and so it's important that 
you know, we keep focusing on our, our cricket and, and the challenge that we've got in a few days' time against Sri Lanka. Hi, Ken. Tough luck today. Um, I wanted to ask you about your thumb, but that's already been done. Can you take me through what your team talk is going to look like later today? Because there were a lot of conversations about combinations and the weather and DLS yeah. and all of that. And we saw Ish Sodhi come back in today and he got taken for a fair number of runs. So what is the conversation to him going to look like? How are you going to just prep? Pep the guys up a little bit after this loss. Yeah, um, I mean everybody got taken for for plenty of runs, so um, you know it's it's one of those those grounds and one of those days. But yeah, I mean it'll be a, a short chat. There's a there's a lot left um, in this tournament for us, and um, although it's you know uh, a frustrating result for us after um, so much of it um, going so well today. Um, the quicker we, we move on and, and focus on uh, our next challenge, the better and um, take the positives, you know, learn a few lessons. You know, it's our first match here in, in Bangalore and um, and the, the conditions that we're faced with here and try and get nice and clear on, on um, what we need to try and do moving forward. So, um, yeah, that's the thing, I suppose. With World Cups this year, you have a different opposition every few days. You play at usually a different venue every few days. And so... Um, Best not to dwell too much and, and just move forward. Uh, Kane, uh, you picked two spinners today and uh, you mentioned that the pitch may have looked a little different to how it played. Mm. Uh, so, was it a case of picking for the conditions you thought you were going to get? Or was there a case also of like wanting a third seamer but not having someone who's 100% match fit to pick? Yeah, I mean, we obviously been challenged with um, with injuries and things, but... We did see that surface and um, and thought that the spin would would be perhaps most threatening. But like I mentioned, that you know everybody went for for plenty of runs and and I think when that's the case in, in these sorts of games, it's more about moments and and or, or an over or two that can change the game quite quickly. And um, and that was really difficult to to come by. Both teams batted beautifully well, and ultimately Pakistan just got their their noses in front. Uh, was there a point during your innings when the sort of uh, when your idea of conditions just changed and you were like, no, we need to aim even higher? Um, higher than 400. Higher than what you made initially. Yeah, I mean, look, we it probably surprised us a little bit. I thought the openers did a fantastic job of um, assessing the conditions and. Uh, and played beautifully well to get us a, a platform. And then, um, you know, we wanted to try and take those partnerships deeper. And then we, we did get a feel that the surface was was a good one, and it certainly was. Um, and we wanted to basically try and uh, get ourselves into position with, with wickets in hand, which we were able to do, and, and get a good good total on the board. And I thought the partnerships throughout were, were outstanding, and, and the clarity um, and how the guys operated was, was brilliant. Um, you know, and I, I suppose we we leave it here, and and then we, uh, you know, you don't you don't take it to any other match. So um, take the positives from it, and uh, like I say, learn some of those lessons. Small margins in, in these sorts of games, I think. So um, yeah, look forward to the to the next one. Hi, Ken. Tough luck. I know you're not the one to probably dwell on personal buying stories and stuff, but missing out on a century, you want to come back? How is how did it all, all process it? Um, yeah, look, I mean, I just try and play the role for, for the team as best I can. And um, we were certainly in a position where we wanted to, to accelerate um, regardless of what you're on. You know, I think it's just about trying to do the job for the team. And, you know, we saw that from a number of guys. And whether you pass a milestone or not, um, you know, that's probably more for the all you people in the room and <laughs> but um in terms of contribution to the team that, that's certainly the most important thing thanks as well thank, thank you, you.